Qatar. Qatar is hosting the 2022 World Cup in what is sure to be one of the most controversial tournaments ever. So here's everything you need to know. Qatar is the smallest country to ever host a World Cup, and they're also the first Islamic country to do so. And while they have huge plans for their tournament, there are also big controversies that are almost impossible to ignore. The decision to give Qatar the tournament was made in 2010, with FIFA saying it would bring new audiences to football. It was also the day when Russia was handed the World Cup in 2018. Qatar got 2022. But people have argued for years as to how legitimate that decision really was. Qatar always insisted they won it fair and square. Qatar is a conservative state where homosexuality is still against the law. The organisers insist that everyone is welcome and that rainbow flags can be flown in stadiums. But some gay fans just don't want to travel, something England manager Gareth Southgate has spoken about. There are clearly human rights issues that are of concern. You know, we, we want a game that's inclusive. It's not a good situation that we've got certain parts of our fan base who might feel uncomfortable travelling to the World Cup. There have also been reports of worker rights abuses in the building of stadiums for the tournament. Just how many workers have died in the construction of these stadiums is disputed. But all the attention has forced Qatar to improve the conditions and rights of workers. The kafala system has been abolished. Minimum wages for workers have been introduced. Uh, regulations have been put in place to protect the health of workers from the heat. Uh, situations which obviously is an issue in the summer in, uh, in Qatar. Is the situation now perfect? No. Are things better than they were? Almost certainly yes. For the first time ever the World Cup is being played in the winter because the summertime temperatures here are just too hot. Temperatures can reach close to 50 degrees Celsius. It'll still be warm but air conditioning inside these venues will help fans and the players keep cool. There will be eight stadiums, all within an hour's drive of each other, so it'll feel more like an Olympic Games centred on one city, Doha. Drinking alcohol is normally limited to hotels or private homes here in Qatar, but it will be permitted in more places than usual. Fan parks are expected to be serving beer at around five pounds a pint. Many of the hotel rooms are already booked. There's apartments, cruise ships out in the bay, or the most budget-friendly option will be a campsite here in the desert. Organisers have been inspired by big festivals where there's lots of camping, so a site is being built out here in the desert for some of the one million people expected to descend on Qatar throughout the tournament. Favourites for the tournament include Brazil, reigning champions France and even England, who reached the semi-finals in the last World Cup. But European champions Italy will not be at the tournament after getting knocked out of the qualifying playoffs by North Macedonia. Another team who won't be there are Russia. They were removed from the tournament after the country invaded Ukraine. The World Cup final on December the 18th will inevitably feel strange. And Christmas shopping and office parties might be nudged aside in favour of watching huge international matches. All of this means that World Cup 2022 will feel like a very different experience for the players on the pitch, for the fans here in the stadiums and for everyone watching back home.